Stan Medal, an enigma nestled in the heart of the Pacific, defies logic and baffles historians. How did a civilization, devoid of modern tools, fashion such an architectural marvel? Find out the truth behind Nan Madel, a mysterious monument of human ingenuity. Massive mystery. How do you think these massive stone blocks, some weighing up to 50 tons, were transported to this remote location surrounded by treacherous waves and coral reefs, believed to be inhabited by mystical spirits according to local folklore? It's a puzzle that has confounded scientists and historians for years. Nan Madola, which served as the Sadalor dynasty's ceremonial and political hub, has since been abandoned and little is known about its previous occupants or the mysteries that lie within its ruins. Basalt and coral boulders that had been hauled through perilous waters and weighed an average of five tonies each were used to construct the metropolis. According to local tradition, either giants or magical beings built the entire city in a single night. Massive columns of black lava rock were used to construct the islands, then their structures by the Sadalor dynasty, a distinctive civilization that revered the sea. The layout of the city was the result of careful urban design with islets linked by tidal canals. It was said to have held up to a thousand people at its peak. There were temples, graves, and rituals in the central area, known as Nandoes Sadolur Dynasty. Have you ever wondered where the Sadolur Dynasty came from or how long they ruled over Pompeii? These monarchs were said to be of foreign origin and different in appearance from the native populace, according to local folklore. From roughly 1100 to 1628, the Saudalir dynasty ruled, making a lasting impression on the island. During the Saudalir dynasty, Pompeii I was a city with three states and numerous regions. In Nan Madula, which had a hierarchical system of titles and a center for religion, the kings maintained sway. Priestly residences and high wall tombs might be found in the northeastern region, also called Manadal Poet. The city's rulers strategically housed opponents there in order to keep an eye on and manage them. However, the Saudalir dynasty grew more tyrannical, with the ruler owning the entire island and giving territory to the landlord classes. As a result, the population suffered from widespread famine and enslavement. The invasion of Isokolakal, a semi-mythical foreigner who was upset by the repressive rule and contempt for local deities, brought about the end of the Saudalir dynasty. Following Isokolakal's conquest of Pompeii, the centralized Saudalir control was replaced with the more decentralized and murky Sistema which is still in use today. Myth and modern legend. Have you ever heard the legendary tale from Punian culture of the twin sorcerers, Olisipa and Alasopa, who are said to have constructed Nanamadola? The enigmatic island of Nanamadola in western Qatar is thought to have been constructed by sorcerers who wanted to erect an altar to the god of agriculture. They succeeded after multiple failures and created a lineage of 12 kings. Locals refer to the island as the Ghost City and HP. Lovecraft drew inspiration from its eerie atmosphere when writing his works. In 1874, a ship carrying Namatol artifacts drowned near the Marshall Islands due to local threats. Legends of giants and the curse of Nanmadola, believed to be from Mu or Lemuria, led some people to believe the giants who built Nanmadola were extinct. Recently, rumors about platinum coffins discovered in Namadola's waters. During Japanese control of the island during World War II, I have surfaced. According to these tales, Japanese divers found enormous quantities of pearls, platinum coffins, and precious metals, including gold and silver. Those who dare to delve into Nan Madola's mysteries and legends are still fascinated and intrigued by them. Decline and legacy? Can you imagine living in a city as impressive as Nan Madual, where security and prestige were paramount, yet facing the daunting challenge of having no access to fresh water or food? The city's unique construction meant that its inhabitants relied on their subjects to transport these vital resources from the mainland. However, during the reign of the Southern Law Chiefs, this system faltered when power changed hands. The Philippine city of Nanmadul, abandoned after the Santa Luras were ousted in 1628, experienced decay due to the Nan Morki era. The Nan Morkis moved to the main island for a sustainable lifestyle eventually resulting in a population decrease. The city's ruins, including stone buildings, form an archaeological district. Pompeii's coastline was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2016. That is all for now. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and mark your views in the comments section.